Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Zach, you guys can call me Hazardous. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into my channel and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video here on the channel today guys. And in today's Red Dead 2 video, we're going to be talking about multiplayer and Red Dead Redemption 2 online in RDR2. So we're kind of going to frame this video in a Red Dead Redemption 1 context, speaking and speculating about Red Dead Redemption 2. There isn't any confirmed information for Red Dead Redemption 2 multiplayer specifically that's been you know leaked or confirmed by Rockstar yet. There have actually been some leaks, but there hasn't been any confirmed news by Rockstar itself. I don't even think it's been announced by Rockstar that Red Dead Redemption 2 will have a multiplayer mode. It's going to. I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's going to. All their modes have a multiplayer. All their games have a multiplayer. It just hasn't been announced yet because they... And I think that's really the reason this game is delayed. I think the campaign and the story is done and things like that. They're delaying it because of the multiplayer. Um, I think that's really the whole reason this game has been delayed so much, but we're going to be talking about Red Dead Redemption 2 multiplayer in this video and Red Dead 2 online, and I want to know your guys' thoughts on multiplayer and kind of what you guys would like to see featured. In this video, like I said, I'm going to be going over the original Red Dead Redemption multiplayer and everything that has to do with that game, considering or consisting of all the multiple game modes and how the players are allowed to play cooperatively with the outlaws to the NDLC or competitively through an online connection. Red Dead Redemption multiplayer doesn't have a traditional game line guys instead it starts out in the free roam mode just kind of kind of like uh, free roam in GTA 5 with the entire map open for uh, for exploration along with hunting areas with the legends and killers DLC and gang hideouts of which players can take advantage of from there players can establish player parties with other players called posses or choose to participate in various game modes via the in-game menu or various entry points around the game world there are various multiplayer glitches that also affect the gameplay as well in Red Dead Redemption multiplayer we're also going to talk about some of the game modes, about some of the several game modes in Red Dead Multiplayer, one of them being Free Roam, which is the entry point into multiplayer where you're free to go nearly anywhere in the world with up to 15 other players online on Xbox 360 and PS3. This is also where you can pick your unique character, mount, which is a horse, and title in the Outfitter Players menu, and players are also able to band together and form posses of up to 8 players. In these posses, you can take on other posses and have a gang fight, and during Free Roam, you can take part in gang hideouts and one of the quickest ways of ranking up in Red Dead Redemption 1 multiplayer is by completing these gang hideouts and I'm sure we're going to see something similar to that in Red Dead Redemption 2 online. Along with these gang hideouts, there are hunting grounds scattered throughout the world that you can gain XP from and complete various challenges. You can press the select or back button to open up a menu where you can join posses, invite friends, or switch game types. There are also three modes of free roam. There's normal, hardcore, and friendly. Players cannot kill other players in friendly mode other than just like stealing their mount and driving them off a cliff like if you're in the same stage coach as them you can kill a player that way but otherwise you can't shoot your player or other players in the friendly mode it's kind of like passive mode in GTA 5 and in normal mode um, you can kill players and in hardcore mode as well but something to note is that with hardcore mode expert targeting is required so basically aim assist is turned off in hardcore mode that's about it you still have a mini map and things like that and a heads up display but you're targeting you you just don't have your aim assist like typically you do in, in Rockstar games there's also some competitive modes besides free roam in Red Dead 1 online and in these competitive modes the gameplay begins with either a Mexican standoff or free-for-all with all the players beginning in a circle or a team face-off, with all players in their respective team's line facing the other team. There will be a short countdown, then a firefight will commence in which all of the players will start shooting at once. Most of the players will die right off, allowing the remaining players to find a choice location such as a sniping spot to fend off their attackers. Once the standoff ends and everyone from one team dies, the actual game you are playing, be it either the gang shootout mode, hold your own mode, or grab the bag, or etc., starts. There are also a variety of weapons to be found in the chests around the map. And during gang matches, players will be assigned a new player model, but during free-for-all matches and in free roam, players will be allowed to use their own chosen character model. The player's selected mount is only usable in some game modes, and in team-based matches, all players will be assigned to one type of horse to keep the game fair. Guns are also assigned to any game type except free roam, and in any competitive mode, the players are assigned to, to a predetermined set of guns for the round. To get an idea of what guns you will receive, look to the dummy in the pregame lobby. If you unlock a gun by leveling up, it will be available to you in free roam. And then lastly, we also have cooperative modes in Red Dead Online as well. Cooperative play was introduced with the Outlaws to the End DLC, and you have to download it before you're able to play the mode, but it is something to note that the DLC is free, so if you guys want to play it right now, you are more than welcome to. 
And in this cooperative mode, a group of up to two to four players will work as a team through one of the six missions available. If a player's health drops to the point of dying, they will begin bleeding out and be unable to shoot or move. They will have a certain amount of time as represented above their heads before they bleed out. And during this time, a teammate must revive them or they will die. If a player dies, they will be out of the game and forced to spectate a teammate until the next checkpoint, which are usually frequent if reached. Players usually... Choose a loadout in the pregame lobby by walking up to a gun set represented by a dummy and selecting the one they want as their weapon set. There are four loadouts available. There's the miner loadout, the soldier loadout, the marksman loadout, and the gunslinger loadout. The weapons they choose will be with them through the rest of the mission. However, they can pick up the weapons from fallen enemies as well, and players retain their selected player model. So those are all the multiplayer modes. There's free room, competitive, and cooperative, and I can almost guarantee we're going to see some variation of all these things in Red Dead 2 Online. In future videos, guys, I'm going to break down you know the different types of competitive modes and cooperative modes and different free roam details information news and features that are going to be involved in red dead redemption 2 online but we just have to wait and see until a new multiplayer trailer drops like i said there is no confirmed news right now for red dead 2 online the gameplay you guys are watching are the red dead redemption multiplayer trailers i thought i figured it would be good to play those so you can guys can get to see kind of what multiplayer looks like in red dead redemption i was trying to play it on my ps4 using the ps now streaming system and the quality is just awful so rather than show that gameplay to you guys I'll show you guys the Red Dead Redemption multiplayer trailers and I'm sure we're gonna see trailers just like this coming up in future Red Dead Redemption 2 multiplayer trailers by Rockstar Games themselves thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel like I said if you guys found this information helpful drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new thank you so much for tuning in I hope you guys have a fantastic day let me know what you guys think about Red Dead Redemption 2 multiplayer and different features you guys want in Red Dead 2 online down in the comments we'll have a discussion. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'll see you guys in the next Red Dead Redemption 2 video. Adios amigos.